So, the sprinklers always go off, like usually in the morning, according to the get money again? that I got. So, one of the lovely things about my baby is, is that he loves to go around up against the the fence line over here and I haven't I've landscaped to a point but not landscaped all the way so when he runs there he flattens it out which is kind of nice in a way but right now he's created a, a divot over here where this puddle is and so one of these days I'm gonna have to fix this and put like rock or something over there but he loves to weave in and out of these areas and all dogs do that's what dogs like they like those kind of things and um i like it because it's like a hideaway and it looks kind of like japanese kind of garden kind of thing and a hidden garden but um one of these days i'm gonna have to put some rock there but every time the sprinkler got went goes off and i was checking to see if the sprinkler was leaking because there is a sprinkler line in the corner over there by the fence one of these days i have to replace the fence too um where uh it's a big puddle and the sprinkler money. lines over there yeah, and i want to make sure get my he again like run over it and yeah. get the cap broken or whatever so anyway that's how he gets all nice and money every single morning his um kind of routine in the weekend is where he gets that from so one of the other things is, is that he is fully trained to where i can't lift him up i have a stool over here if i need to um, sit down and wash him. I wash him all the time. I deodorize him all the time. You know, things like that. Um, I've been in a lot of pain lately, so I haven't been able to do that for just a little while. But he does get bathed and he does have to smell good to a certain point um, because of being a service dog and being in the public and stuff like that. So, he is pretty well trained to where I can get him into the bathtub. Sometimes he likes to jump out of the bathtub when um, the uh, water goes on. So I have a special like nozzle that I put in a while back for him specifically and also to wash out the tub whenever he's in there getting a bath. Um, we don't have a dog bathtub. Or any of that kind of thing it wouldn't be worth it unless it was indoors and he has to do the work because he's 85 pounds so he's a really good trained lovely dog and he knows his commands and he knows too like sometimes he does stuff like sometimes he'll go sit in my bed when he's all muddy and things like that he's a dog guys um in all perspectives they still do weird stuff i prefer him to do some weird stuff sometimes sometimes it's funny and sometimes i want to wring his little neck but he's so cute that you know he can't stay mad at him for very long but it's also to get your attention because hey mom you're neglecting me kind of thing too sometimes because i'm so tired that i don't want to do it whatever he wants to do he likes to be the full attention. He does need a girlfriend. Eventually I'm gonna get him a girlfriend and we are gonna breed him. He's almost six. Um, he probably needs to have something like that. So anyway, this is uh, bathing him. Well, not bathing him fully. I'm not gonna sit there and bathe him because he's gonna go out and do it again tomorrow. I'll probably fully bathe him tomorrow, uh, which is Sunday, today, Saturday. Um, but I'll rinse him off at least. And I usually rinse him off really good before he goes into bed with me too. Sometimes he takes a bath with me too. 
so he does jump into the bathtub does get lots of baths quite often um, does get his paws washed off does get his face washed off stuff like that so he is a very good dog and he is we I trained him very well so he knows what he's supposed to do and um, he's fabulous so maybe if I decide to get um, a girl dog I'll think about you know other things like maybe I'll do some training videos that I've done with the dog you know things like that um, it's a lot of work and it's a lot of time to do it we have to get up in the morning really early and he still gets trained not quite as much but he gets trained um, a couple times a month just to make sure that he remembers his commands because um, sometimes I'm not in the public that much with him sometimes I am it just depends on you know the week and what's going on um, he does go to work with me um, at the dental office so that's kind of nice um, there are some restrictions but there should not be so um, you know how that goes there's always things to work out um, I just kind of want to show my service dog to kind of have people be aware of things too and I probably might do a little bit more of that also um, I wish I could show him when he's at the office because he's really good too but I can't because I work for a company that it's in the handbook that you cannot do that so um, I wish I could show like what he does and how good he is and all that stuff but even like a lot of my patients say though that he's a really good dog they don't even notice him things like that so um, he's been very well trained he's been told what to do and what not to do um, things like that so he knows what he's doing um, he knows his alert signals and other things um, he is trained differently than other dogs but you know you're supposed to train the dog specifically to the person's needs and how you want the dog to be trained so he does all these cool things that I don't know that I want to share um, but we'll see what happens um, may show some of that with the new puppy eventually whenever I decide to get her um, she's gonna be pricey um, so it may be a while because I have a lot of other bills that are coming up um, like insurance bills and paying off my dental treatment and stuff like that so we'll see what happens um, I think she's like about 3800 for the one that I want to get um, it comes highly recommended from this one breeder um, he's very well bred too so and his temperament is really good so that's why um, the lady that I got him from oh my god I really love her um, she is fabulous um, I'm glad that I went to her she's very knowledgeable about stuff um, she's out in the middle of nowhere and she seems to know what she's doing so that's kind of cool too um, but anyway um, I just thought I'd show you how good he is of a service dog and trained in what he knows a little bit as far as bath time um, you can train your dog to do uh, bath time and he's I mean he's been bathed like multiple times when he was a puppy because he would get into like everything all I mean like not my stuff but he would get into everything outside because he loves the outside I don't know if that has something to do with the fact that when I got him he was in a crate outside 
with a bunch of puppies and they were outside a lot and I don't know like they had a little bit of inside and outside so that could be something too um he came really dirty <laughs> when I got him so he had to have his first bath anyway um that same day so that was kind of funny and so I'm hoping that the next girl German this is a boy but I hope that the girl German Shepherd that I might get is going to be just as goofy and gets into stuff just like he does because honestly I may not feel good but technically it gets me up and it gets me to take care of him which is another reason to actually have a service dog um, because of the conditions that I do have um, otherwise I'll just stay at home and I'll be on the couch all the time so um, he is a wonderful dog he really is he gets me up he tells me what to do sometimes um, he tells me when his water is empty things like that um, he will sit there and say something the whole time and whine he tells me when he wants to be fed he's funny so um i really really love this dog but all of my dogs have done that actually um that i've had that weren't german shepherds so anyway thanks for watching today's video i hope you guys inspire to do something wonderful in your life no matter what it is and inspire other people to do something wonderful in theirs and we'll see you next time on inspire the simple life Janelle is me and Shoba is the dog and it's our life. So I want to appreciate you guys for subscribing to the videos and I also want you guys to know that um, if you want to help out the channel just keep subscribing to the videos and pick, hitting thumbs ups because that helps us a lot and helps us grow and we're here to of course learn each other and live each other's lives and see what's going on so anyway have a wonderful rest of your weekend but don't work too hard and we'll see you next time